じいちゃん、ジルラパス。We are of the mantis beings. Greetings and welcome. We speak many times to you, but you do not listen always. Thank you for hearing us now. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us, even though we don't listen. There are many times when we see that you need help, but we cannot help the way we wish to, only by sending energies. And prayers as they would appear to you. It is difficult to speak. But we want to let you know that we are part of your alliance. The alliance of planets and alliance of your galactic governments recognize us. As well, so there is no fear for us to be here. We would like to take questions so that you may understand us better. Okay. Is there any questions in the room of Jim's room? There is a question here. Come forward. Thank you. Hi, it's Barbara. I don't have such a question, but I want to see if I can answer you back in your language because I feel that I can't. Yeah, quick. This is, you're saying that you welcome us and understand that we are positive beings. Yes. Yes. I can understand. Okay, um, there's a question in our chat uh, that says, do you know anything about the blue mirrors and whether the dark ones have left? The blue mirrors. I am not always familiar with human technology and verbiage. Our thoughts of mirrors are reflective glasses. Okay. We are not part of that technology with mirrors. But let me check with my people. Right, thank you. The dark ones are still there but they are being removed soon. All right. Um, there's another question uh, about from Jess, and she wants to know what is her connection to your race? Or if it's a him, I apologize. You had a lifetime or more than one in the mantis species but it was in the fourth galaxy from here andromeda okay also one in six galaxies away as somewhat mantis being in the galaxy of Enzupia. okay thank you um in, in our chat, Christine is asking, um, she wants to know if when uh, our flies are covering her horse's face, can she ask them to move away? You may have control over the insects of your planet. If you wish, we see that many of you do not like insects. We are not considered 
low insect species. But yes, command them to leave and they shall obey because they will feel the energies that are in control. Okay. Control. Uh, there's a question uh, in the chat from Influit432 Music is the name. And uh, this person wants to know what are your connections with Arcturus? Arcturus. Yes. We are aware of Arcturus and the many species that lie within that region. What is your specific question? The question was, was some species in that region and we are allies. We have not been at war with any species ever. Okay. All right. Um, then there's a question from Dawn, please. Dawn. Greetings. Blessings. Blessings. I have a question in that I invited all of my ships of the Star Nations to come to the Earth tomorrow for the yes. event. I would like to know if they will all be visible to everyone around the world tomorrow. This is a good question. There will be those that will be able to see the ships because they have strong energies in that direction. I believe you call it fourth and fifth dimensional energies. There will be those because they do not believe, will not be able to see them. But many people will notice them. They will notice them in different ways according to their perception of fourth dimensional energy shifting. Does this make sense to you? Yes, it does. As the fourth and fifth dimensional energies shift, they will be able to see and then not see. There will be some like yourself that may see them plainly for long periods of time. Not all will be like this. I understand. But it will be a success for you in many ways. Many Thank ways. You. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a question about uh, is, is that sound in your room or? We hear what some sound? No, the, sorry, I, that's mine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Um, there's, Christine would like to clarify that she would like to know if it's possible that your group intercede with the flies and ask them to stay off the horses. <laughs> we can send some energy to you. Thank you. Feel this energy because that is the energy you will use to speak to insect beings all right thank you um there's a question i don't know if it's for you or not if you can answer it but there, there's someone in the chat that would like to know uh whether uh Linda wants to know, she says, can you tell me whether or not I am Archangel Ariel working with Archangel Uriel? I cannot know these things. Angels are not part 
of our realm as part of yours. Right. So I cannot recognize spirits that are not familiar with me. Perfect. Not that we do not know of them, and they are good spirits, but it is, I am not the right person to ask. Okay, thank you. Uh, type your question, Shaman, please. And there's another question coming through, if you will. I have a question because we have uh, mantis beings here on our planet, but they're very small. They're insects, we consider them. How much okay. intelligence do they have, and are they aware of you as beings? They are in the early part of their evolution and so they are not aware of us yet okay but they will evolve and become intelligent beings but it will be millennia from now but we will continue our species through them okay um as they as they evolve, will they grow in size, or will they stay uh, their current size? As time goes by, they will increase in size because of the different energies that are coming into play on your planet. But they will not be as large as we are. Perhaps only two or three feet tall. That's tall enough. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a question from uh, Shanman in the chat saying, is a ship called Athena above me? Athena. There is a ship named Athena around your planet. Yes. Okay. And then the next uh, question is, uh, from Infuit uh, says, a week ago at night, I saw a big flash of light across the sky and then looked to the right and saw the entire sky bright as stars for a second. Do you have any messages about this? There are many beings visiting your atmosphere at this time. You will, many of you see their ship and understand that they are not from your place, your place. So yes, there are many species visiting and that would be one of them. Okay. Um, Pete is asking a question. He said, I was at the zoo and I saw a Komodo dragon and felt a connection and I was telepathically communicating with the lizard and I did it as I did it it came towards me who was I connected to there are species that are connected to your animal realm let me explain there are some alien species that would rather inhabit habit animals rather than other humans or be noted as being alien so they will come into the animals so that they may communicate with humans at times it is rare but more of humans speak to animals than they will let on the dragon was a, a very handsome specimen to this particular reptilian who inhabited it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, there is a question from Slava. 
uh, Slava says that there, it seems that there are many aspects of insectoids who have different point of views on Earth. Perhaps, uh, well, I, I, I missed the question. Let me start over. Excuse me. He wrote three different things. So let me start. He said, hello, um, mantis be beings. Can you please tell what kind of relationships are you interested in with humans on Earth? At this time, we're not interested in relationships, but more interested in sending energy and prayer to you. Our relationship would be separate from outside your world. So I understand that there is a relationship, but it is not a personal one. It is more species to species. Okay. Good. Can you explain species to species as, as far as... Species more than to species. We are talking to you as a planet and not as individuals. Thank you. We understand. And also, um, Slava says, uh, it seems there are many different aspects of insectoids who have different points of view of Earth. Perhaps you can introduce yourself for those who don't know you at this moment. Does he mean name-wise? I believe so, yes. I am from the house of Kirchner. My personal name matters not unless you are in the house of Kutcha. But what matters is you know where my family and lineage is. He, he would like to know in general as a civilization, where, where are you from and who are you? We are from KR15, your scientists will know where that is. Okay, um, Amanda has a question. Um, can you ask it, Amanda, yourself or not? No. Okay, okay. Um, Someone, Marlene asks, excuse me, we're having some tr trouble. Uh, Marlene asks, are you involved in earth technology? Um, we just had a discussion with Elijah about technology. And if so, um, how and when does it start? Our technology is far different than yours, since we evolved far differently than the way you did. We had telepathy far before you did because that is how we evolved. Sensitivity to vibration and sound and motion is more intrinsic to our technology than to yours. So we do not even have to touch or move to be able to control it. We just send vibrations of a certain kind, which you cannot possibly do. So our technology is no use to you in some ways, except for to be motion detected. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, there's a question from Cami in the chat that says, um, oh, well, Marlene has a follow-up, and she says, uh, when did this begin? And when I, did it did begin that what? we could, when, I don't know. Marlene, when did it, what begin? She wants to know in what technology. When did what begin? We'll, we'll ask her together. <laughs> she will type the question. Our technology began centuries ago, but what is she referring to? 
referring to? Referring? I don't know. Let's, I'll give her a chance to uh, clarify her question more clearly. And Omran, if you can also clarify your question, then we can ask that in a second. And then there's a question in the chat from Cami, just while they're clarifying. Um, she wants to know, uh, or she says, there are reports of mantis beings being present at the abduction of humans. Can you comment? They are not from our species of mantis. I do not believe that we have any rogue mantis people doing such things on your planet. Perhaps another species of mantis people are also around your world. If so, we wish to meet them. Okay. Um, Marlene's question, going back to what she had asked about technology, she said her question related to if your group, your uh, society, or was related to um, setting up of Earth technology, and when, and if so, when did that start, or when did that begin? We did work with. Lemurians and Atlanteans at one point, but we're not able to work with the Egyptians or the Maya. So at least on this timeline or this uh, uh, dimension, you didn't work with the humans that are here now. You, you're not directly involved with Earth technology in this um, in no, this only okay. the Atlanteans and the Morians were advanced enough to understand our technology. Okay, okay. Um, Amanda has a question. Well, Marlena is wanting to know if there's any technology from Lemuria and Atlanteans that is today being used. I don't think so, but maybe there is. When Atlantis was destroyed, they came back and collected all metals and technology that was left behind that was still working. And even those things that were considered metal garbage, they brought up to their ships so that nothing could be found of their technologies. The Lumerians were not quite as careful in their areas, but left behind some evidences of our technologies, but you have not yet found them. They're deep under the water, under the bottom of the ocean. Okay, and um, then Marlene would like to know what species of mantid, was it your specific race that was involved with Lemuria and Atlantis? Yes, we were. There was also another species of mantis from several galaxies away that we were allies with, but we have not been in touch for centuries. Okay. And then uh, Omran has a question um, asking if um, you, you mantoid beings, your, your race, uh, do you work with the creator gods in the universe? Not directly. We know of them. Of course, we can sense sentient energy patterns such as greater beings because they are different from other patterns. However, interaction between the species creator and mantis is difficult because we cannot understand their fullness 
they are far more advanced than we are, and they choose not to interfere with our cultures very often, but they do help us at times when needed. So on the, on the feeling and things that have to do with emotion, is that something that's not really existent within your culture? Are you more logistical and scientific in your approach, thought, and way of living? Feelings are part of our culture because it is necessary to be tangible, but you are talking emotions and emotions we do have but only when necessary they help to relieve certain physical anomalies that we may have emotion will help us to release pain and anguish and deep sorrows, if you call them that. That is an emotion, I believe. Yes, it is. Thank you. Um, there is a question, a uh, follow-up with Marlene, that says, uh, is the underwater technology, is your underwater technology being used by water species, dolphins, whales, or anyone on our planet, I think is what she's, she's really hoping there's something from your, your, your technology left over. And there is some, you know of the group called the Clares under the Pacific Ocean, which is a gray and reptilian hybrid. We have some technology in their civilization. Civilization. There is some understanding of dolphins with their trinary language that does touch on understanding mantis languages as well. So they have understandings and can possibly develop technology from us. Okay, thank you very They're much. Not interacting with your species technologically at this time, but as I mentioned earlier, Lemuria has left behind some of our technology, which is under the ocean. Perfect. Thank you. But and we will not plan to collect. It is not enough. Okay. Um, Angie has a question for you. Angie. Angie, are you there? She sometimes says trouble. Hello. She comes. I'm Bali. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, I just wanted to know if you uh, knew of a being named Kin. Um, I, we are trying to bring him into channel. If there's any updates from him. Kin. Yes. Oh, there is one called Kin who is in your United Kingdom. Is this the one? He's a blue being. Um, probably more from Essasani. Yes. Shikani Essasani. We know yeah. of them. Katsiasa? Yes. yes. Is there any updates from him? 
please. He is fine, but away from his norm, he is will return at the proper time. Awesome. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. And Amanda has a question. Amanda? Hello. Can I be heard? Yes. Okay, great. I just wanted to say thank you very much for finally coming forward. I've been wishing for you guys to make an appearance for quite some time. My question is, what is your greatest wish for humanity to be aware of at this time? Acceptance. We know that your planet is going through many changes. We are not usually accepted by parts of your population when we appear. We have restrained ourselves from coming to your planet for many years now. Other species similar to us have come, but we understand that we want pure dialogue and pure understanding before we make our contacts. We are now talking species to species, but we would like to speak one-on-one -on -one when the time I am gone. <laughs> Some adjustments need made in the communicator. How should we greet you when we do meet you one on one? With hand signals or with our voice or? I must research the answer because your ways of communication and greeting are far different from our protocols. We usually just speak our introductions but they are usually telepathic and the sound of the movement of our arms in certain ways is also a form of communication which you cannot duplicate. We'll, we'll do our best, I guess. Communicate. Mm. Are there any other questions? The high frequency is harmful to us. Yes, whose who's mic is doing that? Amanda, please mute your mic. We apologize for the frequency. It is not intentional. We understand. Thank you. Um, Amanda would just like to say uh, thank you for coming. And um, it would be nice if you would agree to come more often. Um, Ava has a question. Um, yes. Hi. And, uh, 
Oh. This is my speaker. Okay, you need to type your question, please. Well, okay. Okay, sorry. Um, if she'll type her question, I'll read it for her. I suggest, Ava, for the future, you just get some earbuds, <laughs> use those, so we don't have the feedback. We we apologize, again. It is. Are you able to right stay now. with us? It yes? is all right now. Okay, all thank you. Now. All right now. Ava, if you have your question, you can type it. <laughs> okay. Ava wanted to uh, know, did she have any connection to you? She feels very fascinated by you. Maybe that's why her speakers were singing out. Connections to her. There is from past experience, life. She was not in sectoid, but there was a time when she was ambassador to insectoids from her world many centuries ago, and she still remembers us. She always found us fascinating. And we, her as well, she was able to communicate in our language with us. Thank you. It is all right now. Oh, I have a question. There is a question here in the room. Please, thank you. Go ahead. The room. Sorry. Yes. It's more of a confirmation than a question. I'm feeling insectoids on the praying mantises around me during the day as I'm walking around and I feel them. Yes. Let me check your energy fields. There is one mantis being, but not from our culture, that accompanies you occasionally. Not from our culture. We are not on your planet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You are more accompanied by reptilians. Yes. Yes. Friendly reptilians. Yes. yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Are there any other questions in the room? Okay. Yeah. Is it time for me to depart? Well, Don has a question if you have a moment, but if not, we can wait to the no, next. No, I am time. fine. Don wants to know if you have anything to say to him. I'm here. I hear your voice. Let me tune in on the being to see why you would ask this question. Ah, you are connected to all species in some ways. Continue to move forward in your mission for it is important for the earth. 
I cannot, as a portion of protocol, appropriate times, I cannot say more than that, except for that you are of notoriety to us. I thank you for that answer. I understand it fully. Cool. Uh, blessings. Blessings. I think that's all the questions that we have at this moment. It is time for us to recede. We do appreciate no. you coming. Thank you. Recession difficult. Recession incorrect. No, incorrect. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Much love and blessings. For now. For now. Goodbye. For now. Good now. Good now to you too.